Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'll explain the procedure to find the confidence interval for a population mean mu. Okay. So there are three assumptions. Number one, there must be a random sample. Number two, normal population or large sample. And sigma means the parameter. The standard deviation of the population must be known. Okay. So there are three steps. Step number one, for a confidence level of one minus alpha, we use Z table to find Z alpha by mu. Okay. Step number two, the confidence interval for mu is from, we can find the confidence interval by using this formula. Okay, X bar, X bar is the mean of the sample, Z alpha by two, value from the table sigma is the standard deviation of the pop population which is given here and n is the sample size and similarly we have uh, same thing with the plus sign okay and then we interpret our result okay okay let's have an example venture capital investments data on Investments in the high tech industry by venture capitals are compiled by Venture One Corporation and published in America's Network Telecom Investment Shipment. A random sample of 18 venture. So it means N is 18 here. Sample size is 18. Venture capital investment in the fiber optic business across yielded the following data in millions of dollars. So this data is given here in millions of dollars. So in part A, determine a 95% confidence interval. Okay, so we have to find the 95% confidence interval. Actually, we compute one minus alpha, 100 times one minus alpha percent confidence interval, okay? So this is this 95% can be written as 100 times 1 minus alpha percent equals 95%. So this can be written as 1 minus alpha equals 0.95. And this gives you value alpha is equal to 0 0.05. And then we need alpha by 2 so alpha by 2 is 0 0.025 okay so through 95% confidence interval we found we found alpha by 2 is 0 0.025 for the mean amount mu for all venture capital investments in the fiber optics business sector assume that the population is standard deviation is 2.04 million dollar so its population standard deviation sigma is given here which is 2.04 million dollar and sum of all the data is also given here which is 113.97 million dollar so this is called sigma x equals 113.97 million dollar okay so to go to step two we first need to find z alpha by two z alpha by two means we need here z point zero two five this value can be found from the z table or z table which is given at the end of the book okay in different uh, different video we will discuss that how to compute z value from z table okay so at this stage i am giving z.025 directly okay and it can be it can also be found from the calculator as well so 1.96 so this value is 1.96. So now we have all the things except X bar. So for step two, we need X bar. 
So x bar is sum x divided by n sum x is 113.97 divided by 18. So this value is 6.331. I'm not writing the units. Unit is million dollar, okay? Now, in step two, we also need to find the value of the interval. So x bar, x bar is 6.331 minus z alpha by two, which is 1.96, so 1.96, multiply by sigma over square root of n, sigma is 2.01 divided by square root of n which is 18 to 6 point same thing with plus sign 6.331 plus 1.96 multiply by 2.01 divided by square root of 18 okay so if we compute that value so this gives you 5. Point 389 to upper value is 7.272. Okay, definitely the unit is million dollar. And the third step. Third step is the interpretation. So we have to interpret this value. So we can write V R 95% because 95% confidence interval. So we have found this interval is 95%. So we are 95% confident confident that the mean amount of all venture capital investment in the fiber optics fiber optics business sector lies between 5.389 million dollar to or let me write and 6.272 million dollar Okay, so it means the mean of the population lies between 5.389 and 6.272 and we are 95% confident, okay? If you like our, our video, so please like and share and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.